Can that shut up? My vent is open, we're gonna have to deal. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Erin here and welcome back to another monthly favorites video. I'm aware I haven't done one since July and it's December. Sorry about it. So since I missed those four months, I'm just going to shove everything from all four of those months into one video. So there's gonna be more stuff in each category, but I tried to smooth it out a little bit. So without further ado, I should just jump into it. First category is movies. There were actually quite a few movies that I went to see in the last couple of months, including Suicide Squad, which was amazing. When Heathens came on in the credits, I was like, yes, 21 Pilots. The next movie is Ouija, and I kind of talked about this a little bit in my playlist live vlog, which if you haven't seen, I will link in the description below. I got to see a greening premiere type thing at Playlist because Alexis Gizal, my bae, my wife, is in the movie. So everyone who was at Playlist in that theater got to see Ouija, which was awesome and Alexa G's all was incredible. Pretty scary. I'm not one to get scared by horror movies, so I was not that scared, but the people around me were like screaming and crunching up in their chairs, like terrified. If you're into scary movies, that would probably have been good for around Halloween time if you didn't already watch it, because I know it's December, so why would you watch a scary movie now? Like it's Christmas time, but whatever. The next movie is Dirty 30, which is like the next Grace Helbig, Hannah Hart, Mamrie Hart movie. They are like the holy trinity of YouTube, so anything that the three of them make is incredible. This next movie came out actually a while back, but I didn't really get around to watching it until recently, and it's Now You See Me 2, which was the sequel to Now You See Me. I don't know why they didn't call it Now You Don't, so that the movie series would have been Now You See Me, Now You Don't, but it was really good. I loved seeing the horsemen back because the first movie was just so cool, seeing all the magic stuff happen because I love magic. This next one, I don't even think I have to explain to you why I love it. The Tatanoff movies. So on Dan's channel, they uploaded just a recording of the show, just like the performance that they did in LA, the one that I got to go see over six months ago now, back in May. And on Phil's channel, they uploaded a video called The Story of Tatanoff, the documentary like making of Tatanoff, and it's really cool. And obviously I love Den and Phil, so I'm gonna love anything they do. But honestly, the movie was really well like put together and you could tell that they put a lot of heart into it and worked really hard on it. These last two, I actually haven't seen yet but I don't even have to have seen them to tell you that they're amazing. It's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Doctor Strange. Fantastic Beast is of course a, another part of the Harry Potter world with some new characters that they're introducing and just new themes and I've heard all good things from my friends who have seen it so I cannot wait to see it myself. And Doctor Strange is another kind of like Marvel type movie and I'm not really sure what it's about but Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange so like why do I care? I'm gonna see it. Alright that is all for movies so I am going to move on to music. There are a lot of things in this category so sorry but I listen to a lot of music. I'm gonna start off with another obvious one. The Internet is Here by Dan and Phil. They're like singing about how like the internet is just like a place for everyone and you can be antisocial, but it's okay because you're on the internet. You can find people that share your hobbies and mm, it's just about internet friendship, which is so cute because Dan and Phil met on the internet and I've met so many of my friends because of Dan and Phil on the internet. The internet is here. The internet is great. when You've got lots of followers who needs a real mate. Hey, Dan and Phil singing. Quality stuff right here. The next three are Jodie Clark and I'm not gonna apologize because Jodie Clark has been pushing out some quality music. So she released her first ever EP, Intertwined which is incredible. And honestly, it's just a really good emotional EP and I love Dodie's voice and it's really great. So the next is a non-love song from Nashville slash Tourist, a love song from Paris. So John wrote a song called Tourist, a love song from Paris. And Dodie wrote a sort of counter melody called A Non-Love Song from Nashville. And they uploaded those on the same day. They came together and did them at the same time, like a duet style where John's singing his half, she's singing her half, and they're together. And it's so beautiful. And I have literally been listening to it on repeat just for days. And the last Dirty Clark thing I want to mention is Dear Happy, which is a song that she just released with Thomas Sanders, who of course I love. If you saw my last two playlist vlogs, you know that I love Thomas Sanders because I met him twice. 
Thomas Andrews' happiness and Dodie is trying to get happiness and it's really, really lovely and beautiful and their voices harmonize amazingly well together. And speaking of Thomas Sanders, he did a stage show, fun fact. He did release the soundtrack to his stage show on Spotify and some other platforms. So I've been listening to the music from that. The songs have such good messages and I love Thomas Sanders, like I said. The very last thing is the uh, Pineapple Pineapple song, PPAP. <laughs> I mean, next category is shows, series, animes, that kind of stuff, because I want to stop calling these like TV shows because honestly I barely watch TV anymore. It's mostly like Netflix and YouTube red stuff and anime. Haters back off. It's Colleen Ballinger slash Miranda Sings' Netflix original show. Oh my. I was not really all that into it in like the first two episodes. I was kind of confused. But then it got so good. Another YouTube created show that I would recommend is Buddy System. It's Rhett and Link's new show. So Link loses his phone. It gets taken by their like Rhett and Link's joint ex-girlfriend Amy. They both dated her in high school but like they weren't aware of it. I don't know it's a weird situation. But then she takes Link's phone and then like logs into their Good Mythical Morning account and like starts posting things and like making them lose subscribers. And don't come in between best friends, Amy. This one is actually a TV show, like on TV. It's called Designated Survivor. I don't know exactly how new it is, but I've been watching it recently. It's about this guy who like works for the government and this person is in this line of succession was named as like the designated survivor for like a situation where like the president, the vice president, the secretary, like all of those main people are all going to be in like a space at once just in case blew up the place or something. We wouldn't want like all of our leaders of our country to be just dead, you know? And he's left as the president of the United States. And the last one, again, is kind of obvious, Yuri on Ice. Am I right? Usually I'm kind of back and forth like on the fence with sports animes like Haikyuu and Free I enjoyed but there's some other ones that like aren't that good. But Yuri on Ice is basically an ice skating anime about this guy named Yuri. He was gonna retire, just kind of give up on ice skating. But then a guy named Victor who's Russian and really attractive decided to be his coach and then they fall in love and it's really cute. Basically the entire Yuri on Ice fandom is shook right now so if you haven't seen Yuri on Ice catch up. Anyway, that's it. I know that's a lot of things, but I had to compile four months of stuff into one video. Also, yeah, I dyed my hair red, if you didn't notice. Uh, I don't know if you can even see. That's why my hands look like they're covered in blood. It's not blood, it's hair dye, I promise. Basically, I wanted to be a combination of Josh, Don, and Dan Howell, so I'm Josh Dan. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Put a comment down below telling me if you ever dyed your hair and what color you dyed it. Follow me on all of my social media. Links will be in the description below. I love you guys. Subscribe and stuff and peace out.